gone through treatment. <laughs> I don't know, it just gets emotional. I do at home, mm -hmm. but uh, I do it with my hair that I've bought, which I think is my hair. So what happened? Tell me the story of <laughs> I called you up. Uh, for this role in the film yeah it's it's uncanny you called me at a time when i'm just getting my infusion and the nurses are standing on me mm. and i know you're in the usa so when i see it go anupam care usa number i was like he's calling me because it's urgent mm. you know because we don't call and chat hey hey what's happening yeah. so i said let me answer this so i take it and um, you start saying that you know i want you to do a film and i say you know uh I would love to do, but can you wait? And you said, no, 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 I can't wait. Why do you want me to wait? And why is there so much noise in your house? And I said, I couldn't lie because all the nurses were around me. So I said, I'm not at home. Where are you? So I'm like, I'm That's in a hospital. That's not the way I talk. <laughs> You're talking. Huh? Uh, I was nice to you. So, no, <laughs> surprisingly, ever since I lost my hair, I was getting a lot of calls for... You know, like web series and this and that. And I was like, God, why am I getting calls now when I don't even have hair? So, so, what so I didn't tell them. Okay. so you. But with you, I just can't like not tell you that I don't want to do your film. So okay. I said, okay. And you started rattling off the role and he's like, this is a you like this and you like this and then you have to play this. And I was like, okay, are you going to do it? And I was like, yeah, but no, but are you going to do it? So I was like, okay, but I need to talk to you. Mm. So then I spoke to you in the night and I told you that, is it okay if I come to the sets with a wig? And mm -hmm. you said, why would you come with a wig? And I said that I've lost my hair, I've just gone through treatment. <laughs> I don't know, it just gets emotional. That's okay. I think you're the most courageous person. I just want to thank you for being okay with it because I thought I should tell you that I'll be wearing a wig and then you said why even a wig why can't you just do the film just as the way you are and I said I don't know if I have the courage and you said I think you do <laughs> so I just think it's so nice when did you too. discover that you have breast cancer uh, no my breast cancer I didn't have any symptoms I do a you know, like a yearly test for myself where I do my sonography and blood tests. You know, the yearly checkups, it was an annual checkup where my person who was doing my sonography said, I think you should go and get this checked with uh, Dr. Mandar, who's mm. an oncologist. And I know about him. Mm. So the minute I heard that, luckily I had a friend with me. I never take anyone with me when I do all these yearly checkups. And so I went and met Dr. Mandar and he said, uh, we'll do a biopsy, but it doesn't look anything. Mm. These are cells which are precancer cells. It's mm. called DCIS. And sometimes they become cancer. Sometimes they don't become cancer. Mm. So it's up to you. Do you want to remove them? And I said, no, no, no. I'm like, take it out, take it out. So we did a biopsy and it didn't come cancer. Mm. It was negative, but I still wanted to take it out. So when we took it out and they did a biopsy of the entire cells that were removed and tissues, they found tiny cells, like a tiny portion of cells that had already become cancer. Mm. And so he said that when you were in this uh, surgery, we put a port. Mm. So I still have the port here, mm -hmm. you know, this raised bit, and then you mm -hmm. have these veins which are going in. So they said, we have to give you chemo. And then I started crying. And then my sister was like, it's treatable. Doctors mm. saying it's 100% treatable. Mm. You know, these are very, very early cancers. And mm. that's the one thing that, you know, if you catch it early, cancer is treatable. And my sister was like, why are you behaving like a 17th century woman? Why are you crying? I mean, the doctor's like, good news. And you're crying. Mm. Well, I think we're just so terrified of the word cancer, mm. which is why I, I didn't share it with my parents because they're so wonderful. They are like, I live with them and they're like, especially my mother is like, she's very vulnerable last two years. She's been with nurses. So I said, I just went and told her, mommy, I have a lump in my breast. So I had it removed. That's why I didn't see you for 10 days. Mm. 